I never knew I had a choice. Those were the heartbreaking words that I heard from a client today, and they absolutely astounded me, and at the same time made me realize that there are probably lots of people out there in the world who live your lives on a day-to-day -day basis from that belief. I'm Rachel Amanda. Welcome to Rachel Amanda TV, where every week we are bringing you tips, inspiration, and other awesome stuff for living the life you love starting today. And this idea of having a choice is something that I think we really need to have an important conversation about. So I'm opening up that dialogue here today, and it's a conversation that I hope you'll join me in. You see, when we're growing up, we hear all sorts of messages that inform the choices we think we are going to make in life. We hear all through our schooling that you must do well in school so that you can go on to university and take the classes of your choice. And we hear in university that you must get really good marks so that you can get the job that is going to launch you into the career of your choice. We hear messages about the choices around the partners that we should be choosing, around our sexual orientation, around every single thing that we're going to do in life, whether you need to you know, responsibly buy a home rather than renting. There are so many of those kinds of choices that are personal to us, but that the world that we live in is constantly sending us messages around what the choices are that are the right choices to be making. And sometimes you can set your life on autopilot based on what other people are telling you those choices need to be. Based on the belief that you learned growing up that you have to get a good job and work hard so you can make enough money to retire. Based on so many of these examples that maybe are true for you and maybe aren't. But have you ever stopped to question those choices for yourself? To say to yourself very clearly, this is the path that I am consciously choosing to be on in my life. That I am doing this work because it is work that I am passionate about, that is fulfilling and meaningful for me, not just because it's something that I am doing to pay the bills. That I have bought the particular house I live in or that I am driving the particular car I am driving because they are the right choice for me and not because of that perception of keeping up with the Joneses and having all of the things, the, the physical material possessions that you believe you need to have to demonstrate success in the world. All of those different choices in life that you have made that create the reality that you have for yourself right now. I know that you have a choice. You have a choice about every single one of those things. And the choice needs to be centered deep inside of you, deep inside of your heart, for what is right for you in the present moment. And that present moment part is important too, because maybe something that felt right when you were younger doesn't feel right anymore. Or maybe something is feeling right now that you will grow out of and grow into a different path later on in your life. It's important to not just commit yourself to that one particular path and to always be giving yourself the options so that when you come to those choice points, you know that you're free to make the choice that has the most heart and meaning for you. I know it can be really difficult to start making those choices for yourself, and you may be unconscious of how much choice you've actually given up. Great places to start are in small choices that you're making in life. When someone says to you, hey, what do you want to have for dinner tonight? The answer is not necessarily, oh, I don't know, whatever it is that you want to have. Take that opportunity to pause and to listen inside of yourself for what is it that you really do want. Do you feel like having Italian food? Do you feel like cooking at home? Do you feel like going to a restaurant? What is it that you actually want? What is the best choice for you in this moment? You might be laughing a little bit at this example because it's something that is so small, but when you start to pay attention to it in your life, odds are that that is your default response. I don't know, whatever you want, or it doesn't really matter to me. It might not really matter. It might not be devastating if you have chicken instead of steak or go for something vegetarian, but it is a choice that you've made. And when you give up on those choices for yourself on the small level, it makes it much harder to discern for yourself what it is that you want on those bigger choices in life. So start by practicing small. See if you're comfortable with those small choices. See if you are making them consciously or if that is something that you've sort of assigned into that automatic default of, oh, I don't know, whatever you want or it doesn't really matter to me. 
find your voice in those smaller things and then progress into the bigger choices that you're making in life. And you know, it might not be a leap from what's for dinner to what kind of home do you want to buy? What are the things that are in between that? Where do you go for vacation? When are you going to take time off throughout the year? What do you do for your leisure time? All of these things are, are bigger choices. And as we work towards bigger and bigger choices, it becomes much easier to discern for yourself what are the paths that you want to take in the bigger scope of your life. So that's my challenge for you this week, is to really pay attention when you are given a choice, how it is that you handle those choice point mo moments and to decide for yourself how it is that you're going to be able to practice making choice and asking for what you want so that you can begin, even on a very small level, to create a life that has real heart and meaning for you. As you're exploring this whole idea of making choice, of acknowledging that you do in fact have a choice in every single situation, I would love to hear from you about your choice making in the conversation for this week's video topic. All you have to do in to get involved is to leave a comment below. As always, if you have had inspiration, an aha moment, or some level of awareness from today's video, I would love if you would take a moment to share it now on your favorite social media channels with all of your friends. And I look forward to speaking with you next week.